All right, here we go, everybody, Smackdown, and we're here for Paper Mario. So we need the classic controller, except for one problem. I got the game controller. So, without I move on, we're going to start playing Nintendo and Intelligent Systems. One of my favorite games, by the way. Not Paper Mario, Intelligent Systems. All right, so let's listen to this story today. I'm going to tell you a story of Star Spirits and Good Wishes. That's nice. Far, far away beyond the sky, it's way above the clouds. Need a good narrating voice here. It's been said that there's a haven where the stars live. In the sanctuary of Star Haven. The rest of yeah, a table treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Uh, using the wonder Star Rod, the Seven reverse star spirits watched over our peaceful world. This thing's going pretty fast. Very carefully. Haha. <laughs> Something is going to go wrong. And then. Oh dear, what the? I like how the music goes all out of wonk here. Who stuck that weird thing into this story? Yeah, I did. He's all proud of it too. There he is, the big man himself. So I can at long last beat Mario. I'll pick this star rod. He's like. Do it, Cammy Koopa, we actually get like movie action. Bowser in the Koopa cart. What's going on? Oh no. No, you mustn't do that. They all back away, they're all scared of King Bowser. Who wouldn't be though? He's got the star rod now. Stop it, cut it out, Bowser! You're changing the story! <laughs> oh, that's funny. And he traps them all in the cards. Wow, we did it. I will refer to these guys as the Bowser deck. And that was a piece of cake. Yeah, everything's a piece of cake to Bowser, hence his stomach size. Now there's like evilness music. Now peaceful. Now Star Kid may rise to some people's wishes, but those wishes will not come true. Whatever can they do? I don't think the game intended to rhyme at all. But maybe. So let's start off with. Paper Mario, and we got this game here, it's my practice file, so we're just going to use Mac, first three letters of my last name, I guess, and it's our first play, let's go. Alright, so I got to rush, because I want to get to a certain spot by the end of this 11 minutes, so, anyways, so at Mario's house, just Mario labeled on it, and we got Mail Cop, more like voice crack. Anyway, what's this? We got Luigi living with us. And he just grabs mail. Hey, it's Mario. We got the letter from the Princess of Peach. No, I'm just going to talk normal for Luigi. He's like, I'll read this to you. <laughs> I just said I was going to talk normal. Alright, let's see. I will be doing a lot of voice acting because I like to do it though. I'm throwing a party in my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you would both attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you soon. Sincerely, Peach. Alright. So they go and head and leave. We're going to go to the castle. So like I said, there's a, I want to get to like a certain point by the end of this video. So like I could go around and talk to all these people, but... Uh, like I said, it's I tried to get this to fit 11 minutes. I was kind of trying to time it while I was doing with my practice file. So, and we're at four minutes right now, so we should be fine. I will try to cut down singing and stuff too. Now, as Luigi's like, oh, what a magnificent castle. We used to get used to this place, but it looks like a lot of guests out here already. Alright, so what you're just gonna want to do is, like I said, you can talk all these toads if you want. Let's go up to the door. We're just going to go visit the princess, I guess. You'll see most of these characters basically throughout the game anyway, so it's kind of neat to them to do that. You can kind of learn about the cities, and then you'll be eventually going there later, but... but uh, let's go to this store, and just jump around. Oh yeah, I forgot there's the... Uh, if you press the L button on the game controller, or Z on your S4 controller, you get a little spin dash, it's a little faster. So we'll just move right along, shall we? And it's like, oh Mario, you came to the party to see me, you're so sweet, thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I was just resting a bit. It gets tired reading all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax, relax and chat just like the two of us? Okie dokie. It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mother Minaldo, you Mario? Whoa. Whoa, earthquake. It's uh, kind of sad what was happening in Haiti and stuff like that. I can't say I actually donated anything, but I'm only 14 years old and I was going to throw 500 bucks. But uh, it's not an earthquake. It's Bowser's Castle. Since when was it underground? And we're going up into the sky. What's this? Well, if you haven't guessed that it's Bowser's Castle by now, then pity you, I will tell you. Because I did, like, 20 seconds before I said this, so. And they don't know what's happening, though. They just think it's an earthquake, so. Oh, are you alright, Mario? What in the world is that? Oh my god! Oh, look, Mario. It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. And here comes Bowser. That witch of his we've seen in the intro. Wah ha long time no see, Princess Peach. Bowser, but this can't be. It wasn't you. Who do you think? Jeez. Whatever did you do? Wah ha yeah, that was me. I live in the castle in the sky. Sitting on my castle now, wouldn't expect me that, huh? <laughs> this castle is under my control now, my dear. You will now obey me. I don't get it, like. Uh, I'll go through it in a bit. Huh? What? It's Mario. What a shock. Huh, not really. I expected you to turn up right on the You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Ha, <laughs> yeah, right. Haven't you learned your lesson, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Ah, true, true, true. I've had my problems in the past. But this time it's different. This time I'm gonna win. Alright, so you're gonna get your first fight. And you're basically just gonna jump on him and do one damage. He's gonna come by and claw you and do one damage. This is my time to explain whatever I was trying to say before and I don't completely forget. So we're just not gonna worry about it. See if I can think of something else to talk about as we just do this. It's really the only command you can do, so there's no outcome of turning out how this fight's gonna work out. So let's see, what did I do today? Um, today is February. Third, it's on Wednesday. I think it's the third today. It's like, oh god, it's a star rod. It's a fine piece of work. It's a public right any wish in the whole wide world. When you use a star rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. He actually kind of gives you a compliment there, saying, like, we're actually pretty powerful. But now he's got stars going in from, so apparently that makes him invincible. And now he does triple the damage. Yikes. And we're in danger, you know, anytime you have 5 health or lower, you'll be in danger, and whoa, we can't do anything now, we're not doing any damage, have apparently vitamins. Looks like Bowser's had his share of vitamins. So, really nothing we can do, we're just toast, I guess, and... Yep, just as I expected, Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario, it's time to end this. I need to stop clicking the back of my control where the batteries are, because it's really probably loud to the camera. Anyways, he does 10 damage, so why I don't really know why he did that from the start. It just killed me on the first turn, but whatever. Apparently we're down. Oh no, Mario, get up! Oh yeah, I did it. I finally did it. I beat my old rival Mario. Yeah! Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That's why you're the king. As long as I have this star on it, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, 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 I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. 